Investigators say a space heater malfunction caused that horrible fire in New York City that killed 17 people over the weekend, including eight children. Chicago Fire Department Chief Walter Schroeder joins us now to talk more about space heater safety during a very bitterly cold time of year. Chief Schroeder, thank you for being here on the program. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, we're so pleased to have you. Uh, with it being so cold outside, a lot of people are turning on space heaters. Uh, in our house, we're no exception uh, to warm up certain sections of their homes. Can you just kind of run through for us the do's and don'ts here? Sure. Primarily, space heaters are very safe if they're used properly. Uh, one of the big things to keep in mind is um, you need to plug that space heater directly into the outlet. So not in an extension cord, not into an electrical slip or strip, but directly into that outlet. Um, you want to make sure that the cord is not under any throw rug or anything that uh, potentially could be a heat source. That's really, really important. And you want to make sure that it's on level surface so it doesn't tip over. Uh, you want to make sure that it's three feet away from anything that can catch on fire, uh, any ordinary combustibles. And most importantly, you need to shut it off when you leave the room or if you go to sleep at night. You can't leave it consistently running. Uh, it has to be off. I even recommend unplugging it uh, when you're done. And what if you have pets in the house, children in the house? How does that change things? Yeah, absolutely. As you just seen in your video, that one tipped over. Uh, you want to keep pets and kids away from that. Um, potentially, that could cause a fire. They could get burned from it. Uh, putting things close to it, pushing things close to it, potentially could create that fire hazard. And, and you've seen what happened in the Bronx, uh, that horrific tragedy there. Uh, we want to make sure that that never happens again, and we have to learn from it. Absolutely. Now, um, are there any alternatives to space heaters that you can speak on? Uh, you, you know what, I, I, in my house, <laughs> um, you know, we, we keep the temperature at about 68 degrees, um, as I'm sure most of Chicagoans do. And it's difficult during this polar uh, vortex coming through here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, more clothes, layer up in the house. I know uh, we want to be as comfortable as possible and move around. Um, now's the time for sweatshirts, uh, blankets. Um, those types of things, anything that really doesn't have any electricity going to it or creates a fire hazard. It, as crazy as it sounds now, we have to be mindful of this. Um, you know, we were talking about, you know, it just seems like yesterday we were talking about fire safety with our Christmas trees and our, our Christmas lights. Well, now we're talking about this cold weather that's upon us and the safety that uh, safety hazards that come with that. And that's those space heaters. And, and please uh, make sure that you have a working smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. Um, those are two incredible, incredibly important tools uh, for safety in your home. Now's the time to make sure that they're working. Have that furnace. Uh, if it hasn't been serviced, get someone out there to service it. Change that filter. Uh, potentially could create a fire hazard. Uh, drawing so much on it and causing that blower motor uh, to overwork can create a fire hazard as well. Chief Walter Schroeder, we really appreciate your expertise and um, hope people get the message because yeah. it's so important. Thank you so very much. Be safe. Thank All you. right, you too. Thank you.